Welcome to lecture 20. Um, I realized for the derivation of the Bernoulli equation I was invoking the vortex lines and we hadn't explicitly talked about vortex lines so I'm gonna fill that piece in first here. Um, briefly recap we've learned when we looked at vortices for the first time that vortex motion is motion in circular streamlines. One thing to point out here is we should note that not all closed streamlines have the fluid particles rotating around the center because if you remember you might have a streamline where the particle is actually not rotating. Um, and that's what we called in the example of the line vortex. Whereas the other example we had, the solid body rotation, that's where you have that thing, the object actually rotating. So just to back up, my point here is that closed streamlines is not the same as fluid particles rotating around the center. And so, as a result, we have rotational and irrotational vortices. The example of a rotational vortex we discussed earlier was the solid body rotation, the solid, solid body vortex. Um, and in that case, your uh, angular velocity u of theta is just a half omega r whereas the other case that we had the line vortex or an ideal vortex u of theta was gamma over 2 pi r so in the first case your object when it is rotational um, rotates faster the further your, your u of theta is larger as you increase your radius r whereas in this case your velocity goes inversely to r so it slows down so in this case here there's actually no vorticity in the field except at the origin so all the vorticity is concentrated on a line that's going through the vortex axis, and that is your vortex line for this specific case. You only have one vortex line, and that's why it's called a line vortex. So. What is a vortex line? It's the vortex equivalent of streamlines. So where the streamlines are tangential to streamlines are tangential to the velocity field everywhere, the vortex lines are the curves that are tangent to omega everywhere. And the equation for the vortex lines then is analogous to the streamline dx over omega x is dy over omega y is dz over omega z. So this is analogous to streamlines. 
So, as I just said, in the case of an irritational line vortex, we have one vortex line, and that goes through the axis of the vortex. For a solid body vortex, we actually have um, all the lines that are perpendicular to the flow plane are vortex lines because this is a rotational vortex that means the particles are always rotating so all lines perpendicular to flow plane and if we want to illustrate this graphically in 2D, you can imagine your streamlines going like this. And then in that case, your streamline are tangen tangential to you and your vorticity as this is rotating counterclockwise, your roti vorticity omega vector points into the page. And in that case, if you apply the right hand rule, u cross omega, you get the gradient of the Bernoulli function perpendicular to the two other vectors.